Phil. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Texas Tees, Red Bar. Out of water. Good morning. I hadn't done a video in a while, so I decided uh, I was going to do a little something today. Uh, something a little more along the lines of keto friendly, which most of my new is because it's all meat, typically. But it's something I got online that looks really good to me. But of course, we're going to change it up, change our ingredients on because that's how we do it. We got a big mess here. I got to clean it up real quick before we get started. But it is going to be a basically a meatball marinara type of dish that we're going to cook. Um, I'm not going to make my own sauce. I'm going to add to the sauce. I'm going to use a jar. Uh, this one is a pasta sauce that has mushrooms and green peppers. We're going to add some more peppers to it, some onions to it, some flavors. And we're just going to let it cook for a while. I mean, probably a couple of hours. That's a very slow cook for a couple of hours, even though we're not making it ourselves out of the you know, homemade. So, But it's an easy way to do it. I don't feel like making homemade today. But I think this is going to be pretty good. So uh, hang tight. We're going to get this thing going. thing going so I've got my uh, ground beef thawing I'm going to get my sauce going um, so I just took a basic uh, jar of spaghetti sauce and poured it in there so you can make your own I don't care whatever I didn't feel like it but on top of that uh, I added uh, 16 ounces of regular uh, tomato sauce so, because, uh, you know, tomato sauce a little bland, <clears throat> we added some more seasonings to it. Started off with an Italian seasoning mix. Uh, this particular mix has, what does it have? Let's see, oregano, majorum, thyme, rosemary, and sage. I put about a half a tablespoon of that mix in. And then I increased my uh, rosemary... I've got a jar of organic crushed rosemary. I put about a half a teaspoon of that in. It don't have to be organic. I'm not into organic. I just happen to have it, so that's what got used. Uh, I added uh, about a quarter teaspoon more of thyme and a half a teaspoon each of crushed red pepper flakes and partially flakes. So, um, you know, make it all Italiano. So we turn this baby on low. We're gonna let these uh, seasons simmer. We're gonna mix it up, let them get going, do a little taste test as we uh, let this simmer on and uh, add what we need. Also gonna cut up and add some mushrooms and some onion to it. And uh, man, we're gonna get these flavors popping. Make us some cheesy marinara meaty ball kind of things. All right, that stuff's cooking down pretty good. Chopped off uh, about a, uh, a small onion and uh, diced up some mushrooms. I'll throw this in there, about a, about a half a tablespoon of minced garlic. And then we're going to throw all those onions and mushrooms in there. You can dice it if you want. don't have to dice it. You can omit, add whatever you want. There are no rules. Anyway, we're going to dump all this in there. Mix it all in. All right, mixy, mixy, mixy. Some, some good flavors in this thing. And luckily, because it's going to be really thick, a lot of stuff in it. But we're not putting any meat in it, so it's not going to be a meat sauce. We are going to pour it over the meat. Or cook it with the meat. So, anyway, I'm going to get this all mixed up, lid back on it, let it start cooking down. Sure, it's smelling good. We have to give this a little taste test. Whew. Hot. Well, this is hot. It's not hot here. It's almost 1.30 in the afternoon. And still 37 degrees outside. A little cold here in Texas Tees, Red Bar. I think the weatherman missed it too. Uh, it's misting in 37 degrees. So we need to add anything to this goodness. Oh, man. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, that's amazing taste. Wow, a lot of flavor in there. Not gonna be adding anything to that. So it's been, uh, actually I've had it simmering for, shoot, probably close to two hours maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna keep it simmering because I'm making some homemade uh, keto bread. That'll be for another time. Let the simmer on some more. Start getting my uh, meatballs all ready. Cook those up and uh, see how this turns out. All right, got the sauce still simmering over here. I'll start making some meatballs. We got about a pound and a half of ground beef. I normally use a little bit leaner. This is 80-20. That's uh, what I had because this was just something I decided to do out of the blue. I didn't plan on it, so I'm just using what I have. Got about two tablespoons of an Italian seasoning. About two tablespoons. All right. Uno egg. One large farm fresh egg, wrapped from my chickens. And I got about anywhere from uh, uh, probably three quarter cup of mozzarella cheese. Put all that in there. I'm gonna throw some gloves on and make it some meatballs. We got a pound and a half instead of a pound, so it's because of the 80-20, it's gonna shrink a little. Um, so use a little bit more, make them a little bigger. I'm hoping somewhere between maybe 12, 12 or 15 of them. So anyway, we're gonna throw some gloves on, get this all mixed up, make us some little balls. 400 degrees, we're gonna bake them on this uh, little pan here for about 25 minutes or so until they're done. So, do that. Well, I was able to get 18 nice meatballs out of that pound and a half. So, uh, said we're gonna throw this in that oven for uh, 25 minutes or so, 400 degrees. Let them do their thing, and we're gonna make a like a like a meatball casserole. Meatballs are done. Final stage. A tram will pour a little bit of the sauce in the bottom of this pan. Transfer these over. We're going to pour the rest of the sauce on top of it with some cheese. Throw it back in the oven. 15 minutes or so. About 350. Let that cheese melt. Mm. Come on, goodness. Well, baby, here we go. Here's our final result. That looks good. All kinds of cheeses on it. Those square melted pieces of mozzarella mixed with uh, some cheddar and whatever else cheese. Really good. Oh, man. That slappy dog good. Because we don't like it. It's slappy mama. Did make some keto. Keto bread. Comes out really nicely. This stuff is real good. The way I do it. Um, but... I think I'm gonna make some garlic naan. Garlic naan bread. Like flat, garlic flat bread. So I think that'll go with this real nicely. So let me get to whipping that up real quick so we can tear into this. <laughs> 